In a time where planes built with sophisticated technology are invincible, fast and mobile. Daniel Chingoma took the challenge to heart and turned it into a chaos that is equally inspiring and hilarious. Because Daniel has taken scrap metals and questionable understanding of aerodynamics to create a helicopter that looks like it just survived a tornado. Or perhaps a fourth grade's homework project gone horribly wrong. The Zimcopter, a masterpiece of mayhem. What you are seeing here is Daniel Chingoma's pride. Let's get one thing straight. This isn't your average plane. It's like a V8 engine and a Toyota exhaust pipe with a sprinkle of Stone Age technology. His plane is infamously known for its shape-shifting habits, hence the perplexing design that includes a nose or maybe it's a dragon in disguise that flies off at night burning villages because the wings trigger PTSD from a Game of Thrones. And uh, we fought the liberation war to be free so that we can be able to do whatever we can in Zimbabwe. Even making our own cars, our own aircraft, whatever type of machines. Oh, and let's not assume the roof, which has more holes than a block of Swiss cheese. You might wonder, what happens when it rains? Or maybe, is it a convertible? Because if it is, I'll be needing two of them. But let's just say you want to keep your umbrella handy. With a look that screams, I might have been designed in a war zone. It's hard not to chuckle at the sheer audacity of it all, but credit where it's due. Daniel sees what most of us overlook in a pile of junk. He even constructed a mini chopper to demonstrate how the Zimcopter is supposed to work. <laughs> which is like building a Lego model to explain how to drive a real car. Basically, this is just a trailer. So, should you be patient and wait for the real movie? <laughs> the purpose of a government is only to oppress people, is to support its people in their economic, political, social, human and spiritual endeavors. So, this government is an opposite government, an oppressing government. We are suffering through this oppressing government. It's only the type of government we fought for. But wait, there's more. This marvelous contraption finally took flight, thanks to a crane. Daniel claims it sold majestically in 1786, but without a documentation to back it up, of course. It's been grounded ever since. His second attempt in 209 was just as ambitious, yet neither version ever received clearance from gravity or the Zimbabwe Aviation Authority. So while others are out there building engines from motorcycle parts, Daniel decided to go big or go home by slapping a car engine into a helicopter. You can see that the plane is fitted with a car engine to act as a stabilizing mechanism as you see in many other helicopters. I'd say maybe he had other calculations maybe to try and balance the weight and that's why he had to add those two rotor blades, both one in the front and another one in the back, not forgetting the main one that is at the top of the chopper. I, I think it was basically to accommodate the weight because you can imagine how heavy this chopper is. And also, it being built in Africa, the floors are imaginable, even from the seats. The seats, you can see the seats are from a car. And of course, I don't think they have any safety features. And I'd say that the steering mechanism is also very well crafted. So I'd give him maybe a 6 out of 10 if I did this plane. And the main inspiration for this engineer to build this plane was because he thought that Africa doesn't need to export its plane from other countries like US, Russia. So he designed this in demonstration to show that Africa has the ability to make its own flights. We cannot afford it to be a dumping ground of other people, of other nations' products. You see, we are buying this aircraft from China, from Russia, from France, from other. Well, now we have someone who can assemble these machines from inside. Why can't we support that individual? with everything which is required. If the aircraft is not up to standard, why can't they give me technical and financial assistance? He's been kicked out of sand shows and even kicked out of Harare, which is the capital city of Zimbabwe. And so in a move to fight all this, he decided to start a political party so that at least he can fight for his own rights because it reached a point where Daniel was even referred to be an uncitizen of the country 
because the country was like, we don't build this kind of crazy here. And what made me to start this party is this harassment. It me almost everywhere. Uh, they say I'm not a Zimbabwean. Why should they take me as a foreigner? Why should they treat me as someone who is not supposed to have a land to, to dwell from? And they are giving foreigners lands, varsity lands. So the government even claimed that Daniel was not from Zimbabwe. But of course he had all the documents to prove that he was Zimbabwean. So he had to find a way to fight his own government, which was fighting his progress. And this is very ironic because Africa has always imported its planes. But when someone tries to rise up from the mud to build his own machine, his own government rejects him. It's a very sad case because every plane that we have always done in this channel, the engineers are kind of accepted by the community, even though they are a laughing stock. I've never seen an African government that was against one of its own. Even though this plane has very many flaws, you know, at least one thing stands out, the dashboard. I've never seen such a dashboard in a homemade African plane because in every place that we've seen, they always use dashboards from motorcycle, dashboards, just funny, funny things. But at least Daniel was able to source a dashboard that was from a plane. Now, I don't know where he got this dashboard, but you can see it's very unique. This aircraft, if we can have a workshop for making this aircraft in Zimbabwe, how many people are we going to employ? And they would make these machines cheap to us. Many, many of the people would afford these machines. So I guess because of this little knowledge that he has about water pumps and all that, I think now he thought he was able to build a plane. You know, I don't know how planes and the plumbing relate. Maybe you do. Or if someone does, maybe they can leave a comment and show us. And as you can see, he's also a Rasta man who believes in Christ. My career is a But then Daniel also claims that this plane was also a motivation from God. He had the vision to build a plane from scraps. And it was because God came to him in a dream and showed him the designs and everything. Okay. And this is what he actually came up with. I don't know what it is that God shows to these people that he has never shown to us, the local men. But a person like he, my own capacity, engineer to the community, is being harassed. He's being tossed around up and down, raped right and center. And the government is not even recognizing me. Even though Daniel's Zimcopter cost less than your average day meal budget, the Zimcopter is a testament to creativity in what we humans can do with basic level brain power. Keep your eyes on the skies. Because who knows, the next great flight from Africa could be just a crane away.